Hey, yo, what up? It's me, Mr. BET, Mr. Taking Over Television for Real, your boy, Bow Wow, a.k.a. Shop Moss, a.k.a. I'm killing everything, everything moving, literally. You should be very scared of what I'm about to do, for real. That's my introduction to this interview. Man, it's all I know. 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 What's good, everybody? It's your boy Baker with HighNewHipHop.com. He has many characters. He was born in Ohio, released his first album at the age of 13, yeah. man. The actor, the TV host, the clothing designer, man. man. A businessman. You making that, that, hey, you making that sound real dope. How you, yeah, yeah, that's dope. Shout out, Moss. Okay, about how you feeling, I'm bro? Good, man, I'm blessed, man. I can't complain at all. Just got off stage. I'm hot as hell. I want to shower so bad. <laughs> I know when I watch this interview, I'm gonna probably be glowing because I'm sweating like crazy. But now it's all good, man. I appreciate your time, man. I appreciate it. Now I appreciate you, brother. And welcome back to DC. You're not a stranger to DC. Nah, not at all. At all. Not and at all. you just started back doing shows, man. You just yeah. did a show out of Chicago. So how's this, how is that feeling? Still being able to perform and connect to the crowd yeah. and just do your thing. It's dope. Um, honestly, it's more like a. Now it seems more like a layup. You know what I mean? Because uh -huh. you know, rap opened up so many doors for myself. And the things that are now opening up for myself are way more challenging. Right. You know what I mean? And um, it's harder work. You know what I mean? Being on set every day, um, you know, remembering lines, acting, uh, television. I mean, it, it's a lot of hard work. So when I come back to this side of the game, it's like, oh, this is... This Cake is, work. Yeah, like baby work. Like, this is nothing. Like, yeah, this is nothing. But it feels good because I was just telling my boys, you know, for me to only I put out mixtapes and maybe like three singles on Cash Money. It's like, you know, people still come out, they still rock it, and it's just amazing. It, it's, it just shows you how, no matter what, you know, if you stay true to yourself and stay true to your blueprint, that the people gonna follow no matter what, and I think that that's what it is. So I, I'm interested. For me, I can't wait to drop a new record now because I know once I drop that, if people are coming out now just off of the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the classic material, then what's gonna happen when I drop like four, five, six bangers? Right. You know what I mean? And it's really gonna get crazy, so I can't wait. All right, so I want to say congratulations because you just got another new gig. Yeah, man. What? CSI Cyber? Yeah. So how's that whole excitement, man? You on set. You just started getting on set yeah. and just, you know, just doing that whole acting thing. Like you said, remember your lines. And yeah. it, it, I love it. I love it because, um, I love it because, you know, it, it's a challenge. Um, and it's something that I love to do. I love to act. It brings the best out of me. And even in life, like, I'm more happier when I'm acting. Like, right. when I'm doing television or, or movies, I'm more in a happier space and for me it's just dope you know being a part of cb uh you know C cbs now and working with csi cyber and like i said i only did one day on set tomorrow i'm back on set i fly out in the morning i'm on set i, I got one scene tomorrow that we shoot okay but um it's dope man it, it is really dope and it's just showing you know me branding myself and me just you know wanting to be big man i, I really want to become mr entertainment i want to do everything i want to be the bo jackson of of the game and that's what i'm setting myself up to be yeah you actually you doing that right now as okay. we speak so let's talk about balance okay. you are father yeah. and you know people know that you just got into a new relationship yeah. so how is that whole balance just knowing that you gotta work and then you still managing your whole personal life from your girl and to your daughter yeah. well the good thing is <clears throat> i always <clears throat> i always wanted to, to move to la like, right. i've always worked in la when i do like film movies and stuff excuse my voice but um <clears throat> for me it was like the perfect opportunity because <clears throat> I wanted to be close to my daughter. My daughter's three and she's ready to start school and she's asking me questions like, yo, daddy, are you going to take me to school? And, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to look at a three-year-old in her face and be like, nah, I'm daddy right. working. So it's kind of like for this to happen right now was the perfect time. And then for me to still be going from L.A., doing CSI and then for me being on 106 uh -huh. but it's perfect because I'm in LA more now so I get a chance to really experience fatherhood like I want to pick up from school drop off and uh, all those things just play their part man it, it really does it's it's it, it, it's not stressful at all I mean it's cool I'm, like I said I'm a laid back dude so I make everything on my time but I love it man I love it I, I, I couldn't I don't want it no other way than what it is right now okay 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 so Everybody want to know, like you said, when you're going to start back the music and just like, it's just hard because you got to solely focus on one thing. And I've definitely seen that you posted something on Instagram about that, talking about the yeah. music and, you know, fans want to know when it's about, about to drop yeah. something new. It's crazy because it's like, if I put out a record, then it's, yo, when you going to do a movie? If I put out a movie, then it's, yo, when you going to put out music? When you going to act? Or like, because I do like five different things. They, they think that I could do all five things at one time. But right. It's timing. I think a lot of people don't understand. I'm 27 years old. You know, like Drake just started like, like at what 24, 25. 
You know what I mean? So I'm 27. So I got all the time in the world. You know, I can put out an album or two. I can put out a record in two years and still be 29 years old. I'll still be young. It's a young boy's game. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So I got all the time in the world to do that. And um, with that being said, you know, the music is coming. Um, I definitely got a lot of big things cooking up. If they think I don't, then they tripping. Like, I ain't stopping no time soon. I mean, you heard it. We heard it from yourself. Yeah. So before we go, let everybody know what you got coming up next. I know you about to work on your own vodka. We know we got AYC clothing line. So what's Asphalt. next for Shy Moss? Yeah, so. We got, got Asphalt Yacht Club, of course. Make sure y'all go to AsphaltYachtClub.com. Um, shout out to my boy Stevie Williams. Shout out to the AYC girls. We got the hottest. You ain't seen the models? That we nah, got? nah. I seen, uh, seen a, a model on your models. Instagram, the little shorty in the in the yeah, window. It's a lot of them. Oh, uh, I know yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 exactly. We got um, we got the AYC girls going. Of course, we got Indy Vodka though. I'm mean, yeah. the youngest CEO ever. So when is that? When is that coming out? I own it. You own it. I own it. The same like brand ambassador work. Ain't nobody paying me to promote this. I own it. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's coming in fall. I'm very excited right, about back. that. Definitely gonna hit them with some new flavors that they ain't been hit with. You know, um, and this ain't no knock to nobody. Like I, I salute Puff. I'm, you know, he opened up the doors for young brothers like myself to get in, but it's just a new era, it's a new time. You know what I mean? The, the era is turning now. When you go in the club, like I said, I'm 27. So when you fall in the club, them my fans, them the fans that was coming to the scream tours. So I'm they I'm they voice now. You know what I mean? So it's right. kinda like, you know. Puff, you done made too much money with this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's time to let the young boys come through. And it's time for me to be what he is to his generation. I got to be that for my generation. So that's why I want to be Mr. Entertainment. You know what I mean? When Jordan left the game, the next person you saw close to him was Kobe. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's what it is. It's like when they, as you see him moving on to other things, and here I come creeping up to take over and be that dude for now for my culture. That's my job. I feel like my job is to keep the culture moving, whether it's clothes, liquor. I'm going to let you know what's hot. I'm going to let you know what's popping. Right. And that's just what I want to be known for. I mean, just like you said, man, it's, it's cool when you dig into different stuff because everybody think that you can only focus on one thing. Yeah. But that's the whole purpose of being a young diggity, being the next diddy. Yeah. And you know stuff like that. So let everybody yeah. know where to check you out. Yeah, all man. your social media and yeah. all that. Oh yeah, it's simple. You know what I mean? Um, on Inst this is confusing as hell because I still don't be knowing my ads and my Instagram. Right, because either bio. Yeah, or cause I, I want to. Oh, my Twitter is at s moss. I know that for sure. Oh, and then my Instagram is shot moss one hundred six. You know what I mean? And then just to clear up the shot moss thing because everybody thought like I was changing my name. Like I never changed my name. That's my real right, name. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? And um, and what that was was just me putting it out there getting that brand going because I can't be Bow Wow when I walk into, you know, an indie vodka meeting. I got to suit up. I got to get right. I can't be Bow Wow when I'm at the Emmys. To people, it's Bow Wow, but that's Shaw Moss. You know what I mean? Anytime mm -hmm. you see me suit up and handle business, that's me being the other person. You know what I mean? You got L. Cool J, you got Ty Smith, you got Jay-Z, you got Sean Card, you got Sean Combs, and it's time to be Sean Combs. And all I'm trying to do is just, you know, push Shaw Moss out there to the forefront and get that movement going too so like i said i'm young but i got a lot of things cooking oh my god i can't wait i can't wait man i'm excited for you i'm glad you cleared that up because a lot of people want to know why he switched up from the bow yeah, yeah, yeah. and now he going by his full name but yeah, it's just so all about branding and yeah, stuff so and, you know saying. it's still bow wow man it's bow wow forever you know what i mean i'm always be bow i'm always be little bow wow that's my name you know what i mean i, I ain't never shying away from that you know what i mean I, I i i put in a lot of work to get to where i'm at so i never shy away on my past and i'm thankful for that and i'm thankful for the people to be rocking with me man it's it's, it's definitely dope bro it's, it's a blessing that's what I mean. I was a fan of Lil Bow Wow from Beware the God <laughs> to Bounce for me, all of Say that. No more. So you are now checking out HotNewHipHop.com. Make yeah. sure you subscribe to yeah. Hot New Hip Hop on YouTube. Yeah. And make sure you check out everything that Bow Shaw Moss is coming out with. The AYC clothing yeah, line. 106. Keep watching 106. 106 every day. Just Monday get through ready Friday. For CSI side, but I'm coming, man. You understand me? I'm on everything. And it is a wrap. You're checking out Hot New Hip Hop with myself, Baker, and the homie Bow. Yeah, get out of here around the streets you know you, you got to be out here to you know to adapt to certain music you know from the west coast to the south to up top you feel me you got to be you know we have to kind of set the bar for what you know young people should be doing and how young girls should be acting and young boys should be acting and respecting ourselves and taking care of each other because we were never I had a record deal signed an usher through J records and you know he just quit one day he woke up and said I don't want to do the label shit no more you know and um, we was kind of stuck